so sometimes before you go on to uh, open reduction there is some maneuvers you uh, you can do and avoid open reduction because that can lead to a big scar um, though i would recommend that you go ahead and do open reduction far more uh, commonly than you use this technique this was a 8 year old female she presented to me and we uh, took her for close reduction under anesthesia and fixation but the reduction was uh, not coming away the best reduction here was like this so we we put a joystick in a proximal fragment the joystick was then derotated and we could achieve 100% reduction we had kept the ky wire ready in the distal fragment so the moment we achieved the reduction um, uh, we could pass it and uh, fix it like this this then was uh, fixed with additional screws keeping that in mind and final fixation was done so joysticks uh, now you can see the joystick here is the joystick and here are the k wires when you are using a joystick technique we must learn that there are important neurovascular structures you must palpate femoral artery and you have a nerve which is lateral to that you must look at this and remember anatomy before you insert your pin the pin should be ideally in a metaphyseal region but if that is not possible you can also go in the head because this is a temporary pin which you are not going to keep inside so that's a final screw placement i i generally immobilize younger children in hip spica for a while that's a 2 month follow up that's a 3.5 month follow up and uneventful recovery and this is not my technique this has been described well for adults as well as pediatric patients but what is the success formula always aspirate the hip joint before you do fixation because it seems to decrease the chances of avascular necrosis do not make multiple attempts to close reduce Fill femoral pulse well before you put your joystick, and do not make multiple uh, uh, passages. Keep wire ready for fixation in the distal fragment. Thank you, and keep low threshold for open reduction, as I said. So now that uh, we know what is in our armamentarium, we go on to clinical cases, and then we'll have James uh, showing about the technique of proximal femoral plate fixation. Okay. Uh, we are ready with the uh, odometers. Uh, I thank my panelists to join me in this. Uh, let's go to first case. It's a 13-year male fell from scooter. We know all of them drive scooter, and this is a little different-looking X-ray. And this is our internal rotation view. So, what type of fracture this is? Is it type one? It is type two, type three, or type four? Can we have voting, please? Uh, Ratna, uh, has people got right from your lecture? I think 66% are absolutely right about this. So, uh, when we took this child uh, uh, for reduction, this was the best possible reduction available to us. So, what do you think this is because of? Can we have the voter again? This is the X-ray. This is the best possible reduction. What do you think this is the reduction we are not able to achieve? Is it due to improper reduction maneuver? Is it due to capsular interposition? Is it due to locked fragment? Or is it due to psoas tendon interposition? Can we have? Excellent. That was a capsular interposition because this was a, a basilar fracture. So we had to do open reduction. But the story doesn't end here. We got an excellent open reduction in uh, a, like this. But when, when I switched the TV in AP position, we, we had a surprise. The latter, the greater trochanter fragment was not with the main fragment. So we were not absolutely prepared. The previous X-ray did not show the AP X-ray that there was a separation. So uh, fortunately, we had something in our hand. We had some K wires and did a tension band. And fortunately, God was uh, forgiving and moved with this. So this was an immediate post-operative X-ray. And uh, we got away. The question here is, what will happen to this child because we have done crossing of the physis? Will it lead to coxa vera? Will it lead to coxa breva? Will it lead to coxa breva and limb length discrepancy or will not have any consequences? Yes, Ratna, do you agree with the answer? Uh, they have crossed the physis, 12 year old boy, 63% say that there will not be much of a problem. 
so i think we all concur here and the message has been has driven very well that whenever a child is probably more than 9 or 10 years old I, if the stability i'm not saying always but if the stability is in doubt you without any fear cross the joint across the physis and achieve a stable fixation because coxa breva non unior or avascular necrosis have a far worse uh, implication than having an avascular necrosis or uh, having a physial fusion <clears throat> so what do we learn from this three part fracture in children is not common for me this was first and most of the panelists also have the same opinion here adolescent fracture pattern is changing you must keep your armamentarium ready for surprise generally no consequences of crossing physis at this age keep patient under follow up because there can be late presenting avn let's look at this case to 7 year old female she had a previous uh, surgery and she presented to me like this there is definitely some problem with the union here there is a coxa vera the screws are there now in 7 year old female with she has a restriction of movement and mild pay, uh, limb what will you do for her keep your voting ready would you give further hip spica and let her unite in mal position you would revise the fixation with a stronger implant will you remove the implant and wait or you do valgus osteotomy and fibula grafting this is the x ray these are your options please start voting so 72% patient people feel that uh, we should go ahead and do something here so what happened was the patient went back to the original surgeon and that surgeon removed the implants and then she presented to me at age of 1 year and fortunately the uh, fracture is united sir what would you have done here you would have done i, I mean the first surgery was wrong but since that was not in our hand the second no, no, surgery i am talking of any when, when she presented to you i think surgery was required at that time yes sir i did advise but they went back to the original surgeon who said that that, that was not the proper thing yes sir i agree removal of implant is not the proper thing when it has gone into a already a coxavara and all yeah but fortunately she has united even after that so i but think god is sometimes surgery now yeah sometimes god is great <laughs> now what will you do correct the osteotomy and fixation so what how will you fix this i will fix it with a, i will i will do a correction and i will try to do a sort of a not a simple wedge correction but i will do a step cut correction and fix it with a uh, screw and uh, plate screw and plate uh, binoti what would you do here what is the age of the child now child is about 8 uh, years 8 years okay so definitely it's uh, not acceptable significant coxavara and with all the consequences definitely she even if she is united she is not functionally normal so she definitely needs a surgery and i think subtrochanteric valgus osteotomy with fixation with either a proximal femoral okay. plate so without uh, wasting much time i'll show you what we did this is a small surgical technique of a prong plate uh, which i have i i am using um so what you do generally is it's basically an angle blade plate which has a fork in in between so uh, it's the same principle and this is how you generally uh, take lateral x ray in children you don't uh, move cm cm is just vertical you move the hip and you can take a beautiful lateral shoot uh, in this way so this is how you can uh, use the chisel once the chisel is in you confirm in both the views once you have that you put you rep, uh, you do an osteotomy you replace your chisel with a prong plate once the prong plate is in you you, you bring the distal fragment uh, check this in lateral then bring the lateral fragment and this is how you will get correction of uh, neck shaft you can see that the the contact here is not great but in children this doesn't seem to matter this is the lateral x ray of the same i have crossed the physis because physis by now is already fused if you could look it in the previous image that's a 12 month follow up that's the function at 12 month and that's a 3 year follow up we have fused a greater trochanter so that it does not uh, o uh, um, override she has out uh, she has approximately 1 cm shortening but she is managing pretty well uh, with her shortening uh, if if this play yeah. yeah she is managing pretty well so there are multiple ways of fixing as sir said he can do you can do a step cut and you fix it with plate you can use 3.5 dcp bend it and use it you can use this type of plate or we have a technique coming in next session the same thing you can use proximal femoral plate so we go to the last case 13 year female history of trivial injury 
ट्रीटेड बाय बोन सेटर फॉर वन मंथ एक्सरे डन शोज पैथोलॉजिकल फ्रैक्चर नेक फीमा राइट दिस इज द पैथोलॉजिकल फ्रैक्चर दिस इज हाउ शी प्रेजेंटेड टू मी अब अ मंथ लाव सो वॉट विल यू डू या वुड यू इन्वेस्टिगेट हियर गिव प्रोलॉन्ग स्पाइका यू विल गो हेड एंड डू फिक्सेशन और विद डी एच एस और यू विल डू आई दैन और एंडर नेलिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट वोटिंग लेट मी गिव यू द एक्सरे ए इज इन्वेस्टिगेट मोर बी इज गिव प्रोलॉन्ग स्पाइका सी इज फिक्स विद डी एच एस डी इज यू डू नेलिंग ओके आई एब्सोलूटली एग्री दैट वी नीड टू इन्वेस्टिगेट दिस फर्दर वी डिड इन्वेस्टिगेट इन फॉर्म ऑफ एम आर आई and we it was conclusive that this was some cystic lesion so we opened up and did a biopsy from that site and and we fixed and bone graft in this fashion because many many years back we did not have very good implants so this was just uh, one of the ways sir said you can uh, put a plate and fix it so what uh, what when i used to use this type of implant we used to cut the first screw hole so that it becomes like a prong and you can use like this that's a two month follow up And that's a two year follow up and that's a five year follow up and that's a function at end of five years and that is how she is walking now so uh, there are multiple implant options but the principles remain same that you need to stabilize a fracture neck femur whether it's a pathological or not and whenever there's a pathological fracture you need to investigate this further so now i hand over to uh, james uh, for his presentation on proximal femoral plane